Hey y'all, Chris from Key Farm. So two weeks ago I answered the question, how do you attach a small engine like an 18 horsepower Duramax or a 6.5 Predator to a full-size vehicle's manual transmission? You can see that video right up here. But today, my second most asked question is, how in the world do you shift that thing? That's what this video is all about, but let's see what we're going to do the test in. I'm kind of a big fan of the 18 horsepower Duramax engine, so I installed it. Now, look, in some of my other projects, I put the motor way up high so people could see it because um, I'm trying to build this channel. So if you're going to put a small engine in something, have it up high where people can see it, except for this one. This one, I wanted it under the hood because I like that long, clean hood on an MG. So check this out. Um, that one uh, is sitting on a plate. That plate is attached to the transmission. And this one is even mounted to the original rubber motor mounts. This right here is the drive system. Hey, look at there. I added a muffler this morning. Yeah, kind of. That's not real great. Well, hey, don't look at that. Oh, hey, don't look at that. There is the drive system. It's just like in the previous video. You have an extension of the transmission shaft coming out into bearings. Now this one is a 14 tooth centrifugal clutch to I think a 32 or a 34 tooth sprocket. This car is only two point something to one, but it's a very small car. So that's what we're dealing with. There's the interior. Four speed transmission. All right, hey, let's go for a ride. All right, y'all, a tutorial on how to drive one of these go-kart cars. Is that what we're calling them? All right, so this is a four-speed car. This one, reverse is over and back. First, second, third, and fourth. So let it fall to the center, straight forward is first. Now what we're going to do when we go from first to second is we're going to let off the gas and we're going to put pressure on second and this foot's never, this, this clutch foot, it stays back here. The centrifugal clutch will, will disengage as the motor RPMs go down, it will simply fall into second gear if we get a little bit of pressure on it. We're not jamming it in gear, we're not grinding it into gear. If you do that, it won't last long, but if you learn how to do this properly, it will last a long time. All right, so we're in first gear. Gonna accelerate, second gear. Accelerate, Third gear. Accelerate. Fourth gear. So we've shifted up through all the gears. Now downshifting is more difficult because you have to rev the engine. But first, you gotta slow your road speed. So we're slowing down. We're still in fourth gear. We're gonna give it a little rev to get it out of gear because it's easier to get it out of gear under power. So give it a little rev. We revved it and on the way down from the rev, it fell back into third gear because I had a little pressure on it. No grinding whatsoever. All right, now we're gonna go back to second. All right, so this is third gear. We're slowing our road speed. We're gonna give it a little rev. We're gonna, I'm sorry, we're gonna pull it out of gear under a little bit of throttle, then we're gonna give it a little rev, and then we're gonna put pressure on third gear, I'm sorry, second gear, and it will fall into second gear. Second gear, no grinding. All right, we're gonna slow our road speed. All right, now we're going back to first gear, okay? We had actually gotten so slow I had to speed up a little bit. Okay, we're going to come out under power. 
We're going to put pressure on first gear, rev it so it'll fall into first. First gear, no grinding, no problem. Now we're going to go back up through the gears. downshift every gear. We're down here to the end of the road where we're going to turn around. I'm going to slow the road speed all the way down to first and I'm going to go straight back into first. There's first gear, no grinding. We're going to turn around and head back to the house. Turn into the driveway at first. That's how you do it. That's how you drive a manual transmission car with basically a tiller or a pressure washer engine. Hey y'all, there you have it. So I don't know if you want to call it a car or a go-kart. I don't care what you call it. <laughs> Just hit that like and comment. <laughs> hey, some people are going to say that, hey, that's hard on the transmission or it's hard on this or that. First of all, you can drive any manual like this. My Mazda truck that you've seen so much on the channel, you can drive it that way. The new F-350 monster truck, you can drive it that way. And just to prove that it doesn't hurt anything, I used to drive an 18-wheeler. I put 600,000 miles on a Kenworth T2000 only using the clutch when I was in traffic. All the other times shifting, never used the clutch and I don't think we ever put a clutch in that truck and we certainly never put a transmission in it. Once you learn how to do it, it's pretty smooth. Hey y'all, I'm Chris from Key Farm. Love God, love people and watch some of these other awesome videos when they pop up.